Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and uh, talking about uh, minimum requirements for Windows 11. Two things to point out here and also a change that has come to the Canary build that I'm running here, 26063. So first of all, we did say there's a slight modification to the minimum requirements for Windows 11 to run 24H2. Still a lot of people are wondering if they are going to be able to run. Um, you know, the, the easiest thing to say is that if your PC is less than 12 years old, 13 years old, uh, pretty much you are safe for unsupported hardware. So, uh, nope, there's no problem there. Um, it's really old CPUs that are affected by this change. Um, and, you know, I don't think much of anything. I, I, I'm pretty much surprised if anybody is running Windows 11 on a CPU that is that old. And at some point you have to put a cutoff point. As for the 24H2 also, a lot of people are asking me, yeah, but for 24H2, will there be a, um, um, if I'm unsupported, will I get the update automatically? Remember, unsupported hardware does not get new versions automatic. You gotta download and install it yourself. It's been like that since day one, and it will stay like that. It's Microsoft's way of just, you know, saying, no, if you want to uh, to run unsupported, you have to, uh, you know, install it yourself. And the reason why is simple. It needs to check if you have minimum requirements before it actually tells you there's a new version. So you don't pass the test, and so it's not pushed. If it was pushed... Um, you know, they probably wouldn't make a difference between unsupported and supported hardware. Another thing that I've seen a lot, and people are still mixed up with this after um, two and a half years of running Windows 11, minimum requirements. I see a lot of people saying, well, I've got this i9 or i7 or, you know, i5, uh, and they have actually a supported system. And they say, well, you know, when I go and it, try to install, it says unsupported. That's because you haven't turned on some of the features. Remember that anything that is 8th generation or later runs Windows 11 without any problems. But if you have, for example, one of the comments today was i7 uh, and uh, the uh, CPU is a 9500 something. Well, that's a ninth generation. It's one generation um, later than this one means that you are capable of running Windows 11. You are supported. If you're not, it's because some systems don't have the TPM uh, on by default, and that will prevent you from actually updating. So anybody with an 8th generation or later, and if you right-click on your task, on your start menu, go into the task manager, click on CPU, it's very simple. Any Ryzen 2 or later, or any Intel core with the numbering system, the first number of the model of the CPU is the generation. Starts with an 8, 8 generation, you're okay. 9, 10, 11, and so on. Um, those that are 7 or earlier, so 72 something or you know 60 or and so on, you can still run it unsupported, but you have to use a little trick either with Rufus or you can install it from the image. Microsoft's image will actually work uh, unsupported, but um, Rufus will just remove all the checks and compatibility checks, <coughs> and you can continue on. So um, remember that. it's If you have an 8th generation or later, um, or if your Ryzen is fairly new, you are running Windows 11. It's just that your motherboard, the TPM, hasn't been turned on. Uh, a lot of people had to go into their motherboards and turn on the uh, TPM functionality. Some did automatically because they had a um, UEFI BIOS update, but um, a lot of people are still mixed up with this. Uh, remember, eight generation or later, yes, you're compatible. And last but not least, 
and the build that I have now, uh, they have added the pop count uh, block for people that are not uh, that don't have you know SSE 4.2, uh, which once again is extremely old. So um, you know, no one I think is affected. Um, I don't think many people were running Windows 11 on such old hardware. So don't worry about that. And once again, if you're unsupported, you will need to download 24H2 manually. Uh, and, and that's always been the case. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.